Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm putting out the thrift store video. You'll see that the day before you see this. So it's actually going up today, and when you see this, that video will already be up. Um, I'm having my coffee, so hold on. It's not even 5 o'clock in the morning. And this is the coffee cup. You're my person. In that video, you'll see this Western. And it's actually really quite neat. Um, I did look this up on eBay. I could not find anything like it. The ones that I did find were the paper was white the book looked pristine um i think they were remakes i don't think they're original and even those were selling for like 25 dollars a piece now do i want to sell my book uh i'm not for 25 dollars i don't think and mine is original and those were like remakes or something because I don't even think back in the day this paper would have been bright white. And it looked like clean cut. Can you see those edges? Okay, that's how these were made. They were not clean cut edges or none of that. So, um, I'm going to be hanging on to that and just enjoying the book. I'm putting my gloves on, and the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to touch anything that's in this jar. I don't know where it came from. Now, my friend's buttons that I have, that's one thing. I know where they came from, all that. Um, this, I don't know whose these were, but I paid $3 for this jar. It's got a little bit of everything. There's some cork in there. There's a tiny little wooden spool. Do you see that? Um, there's some belt buckles, and it's got something written on it. So I wanted to look that up. And I want to get eBay up here. And we're going to check out some of this as we go on my other phone. Um, and I will uh, screenshot what I can, and I will share them on the video. So, there's also this rock. Um, it looks like somebody put something on it. Um, there's this little wooden piece here with something painted on it. And there's just some odd things in here. Some strange looking buttons. That one looks to be, um, might be a wood button. Um, there looks to be some cufflinks in here. And there is a, a little dog. Let's go ahead and open this, guys. Open this, and we're going to first get rid of this piece of material. This is trash. No doubt about it. All right. Now, we're going to just carefully put everything out onto the table. If it'll come out. Well, that I thought was an actual barrette. It is broken, so that is trash. This is a belt buckle. It is cloth covered. It's not all there. We have a button that appears to be Bakelite. This is, it's not wood, that's for sure. Got some more buttons. That's pretty. Let's just start pulling stuff out. A wooden uh, spool. This again is Bakelite, I believe. I'm not sure why anybody would have thrown that in. Um, some more buttons. This is cute. I want to check this out a little closer. We have a... This is for stamping wax. This, I believe, would be the letter N. That is really cool, and it's heavy. We'll look this up and see what that's worth. 
We actually have a pair of them. It's for um, stamping seals, um, letters, um, envelopes, that sort of thing. We have another belt buckle, more belt buckles that aren't complete. Um, that looks, I'm not sure. We have, whoops, that's missing pieces. And here's the little gold colored dog. It's actually ceramic with gold on it, made in Japan. And he's got a broken tail. Let's go ahead and finish spilling all this stuff out. Let me get into this jar. I got stuff rolling at me. All right. We have this tiny little spool looking thing. It is very old. It, well, I can't tell what it's made of without taking my glove off. Uh, it appears to be wood. We'll set that aside. I'm going to set all my wooden pieces together. There are, and this one is a Q. And this one is a Y. I'm set them over there. This is like one of those rings that you find, you know, when somebody gets married and they have that scroll. That's what that is. We have a couple of jingle bells. We have this uh, little glove thing. Um, this is a cork kind of thing. It's not. It's wood, but it's cork. I have a bunch of little hearts. Um, this is metal. And then I'm going to try to set some of these buttons off. This is metal. Looks like it might have been on something. Now this is an interesting button. Does have the back, it's not broken off, that makes it a little better. This is one that is the letter I, it's kind of corroded. Um, I'll get my loop and I'll look a little closer, see if we can find a maker's mark on those. Here's another one, that's the letter O. This one again is the letter I. I'm just looking to see if we have any more. We do. Another letter Q. Another just plastic ring. We got some old um, hair pins. I don't know if hair pins are worth anything. We can look them up. And a lot of odds and ends. Honestly, that looks like a piece of dog poop. I'm getting rid of it. And I'll get a different glove. I have some um, alcohol wipes behind me. We got some of these big buttons. Um, don't ever disclose these odd looking buttons. This is 21 jewels. This is actually a piece of a watch, guys. The back out of a watch. Probably a piece of a... Um, Oh, what do you call it? You know, like a, that you open up. I can't think of the word I want. Um, and this honestly is a piece of dirt. Um, uh, from like a mud dauber. I don't know why they would throw that in there. Here is some more of these hairpins. Um, a, you know, plastic thing. This is just a shiny rock. And it's a shame that this button is broken. This is Bakelite. Here's another um, Bakelite and this is uh, a belt loop actually and it's kind of discolored. But we'll check it out and see what it would have been like. This one's uh, 
a belt loop like or for scarves you would slide the scarf through kind of to hold it together um, it has seen better days more buttons um, oh my goodness look at the little turtle isn't he cute he is a pendant I don't see any markings but I have that is cute. We will look him up. And here's another Bakelite button. And it is in complete, um, you know, it's not broken. Patent pending. I'm not exactly sure what this is. If anyone knows, let me know. Okay, let's see. This, I believe, is just a little pill box. Um, it doesn't have any decorations or nothing, just plain Jane. This has probably been something a gentleman would have carried um, because it doesn't have decorations. Here we have, it is, it's plastic. It has a little marlin on it. Nothing fancy. This rock, somebody's gone and painted on. It's trash. Um, I do have quite a bit of trash in here. Oh, this looks like Boy Scouts. Um, it is a button that somebody's put on, like, a uh, jump ring. Um, I believe it's Boy Scouts. We will uh, look a little closer at that. Um... Someone's taken and tried to make a pin with that. Here's another one of these. This is just a wooden disc. We have a cloth button. Don't ever pass up cloth buttons because they do have some value. Um, we have a horseshoe. Uh, pendant. Come on, focus. And it is the same on both sides. I do not see a maker's mark. Um, let's see what else we can find here. We have a button. No markings, but it appears to be plastic. It's better on my hand with a glove on it. I will be cleaning my hand. It's just hard to tell what things are made out of when you've got your hand gloved. This does have a mark on it, but I'm not sure what the mark is. It is a button. Um, it is metal, though. We have another, um, I believe, this one's plastic. I don't think it's Bakelite. And it's got something in it. I'm not sure what's in it. And I'm not sure exactly for sure what it is. It's not a button. It doesn't go all the way through to hold it on. Now that's a pretty design. Something maybe you need to look into to see what it is. When you find a button with an odd design on it, even if you only have one, um, always look it up. That's a strange button. This is a wood button, guys. Check that out. Wood buttons can sometimes be very valuable. We need to look into that one. Here's another example of a button with cloth on it. It is just like um, a cheap metal because you can tell it's coated because the um, coating is coming off. It would be better if I had a pair. Here's another button with a uh, plastic inlay. And then here's a teacup. It's just a teacup. There's nothing more to it. Um, I didn't realize I put that marlin over there, but I did. There's a lot of these little wooden hearts. I'll set them aside, get them out of my way. A ton of them actually throughout this pile. We have a hair clip, but it does have a crack right there, 
I don't know if you can see that in the video. Yes. We'll set that aside as well. Um, flowered shape buttons and things like that are also valuable. Um, I'm, you know, if you have more than one, if you have a bunch, I have quite a few of those things. I'm not sure exactly what they are. We have a googly eye. Strange thing about this googly eye is I have never, never seen that before. Check that out. Let me see if I can get it out of my hand where you can see it better. That is different. Now that's worth looking up. Um, let me see if I can spot something unique. Here's another one of these. It's an O. Is this a button? My entire apartment, the lights are flickering. We're having a storm while I'm doing this. Okay, this button is complete. Check that out. That is a butt. Not pretty. Um, I think I already looked at that. It's broken. I have another one of these buttons here somewhere. A lot of this stuff is just kind of plain Jane. But we do have a couple of wooden buttons. Um, a few things to look up. That are kind of interesting. And for three bucks, I like to look through things. So I want to look up this, 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 and check out this button. It's not really a button. It is for um, furniture. And it's metal, actually. If you look inside, you can see that it's metal. It's actually a piece of the cloth. It used to be uh, on something blue. So that would have screwed into whatever the furniture was. I don't know. That was interesting to see. A lot of other little buttons. And this is different. This would have been like on a pair of like bib overalls or something. Maybe something a lady would have worn. Alright, I'm going to pull aside what we're going to look at and I'll be with you in a second. Okay, so with eBay's new search thing, it is very difficult to find stuff. Um, the wooden buttons, a lot of people are posting um, vintage buttons, wooden buttons. And watch your listings, guys, because people are posting wooden, as buttons being vintage and they're not. Watch your postings real close on anything. This little spool, I am not finding one like this that is this tiny, as you can see, and has the hollow on the bottom. It is not shaping very well. I'm almost wondering if this was not handmade. I'm going to take this to the, um, oh gosh, our museum, and I'm going to ask the museum lady about this. Um... The same with the cloth covered buttons. I'm getting more um, clothing than I am the buttons themselves. I cannot find hardly anything about them. The most I can tell you is if you have a lot of them, a whole bunch, you can maybe make $10 or $15 on a lot of different cloth covered buttons. Um, the same with the vintage hair picks. Be careful because there's people on there putting vintage in the listing and they are not, they are brand new, but however, I couldn't screenshot and no longer let you screenshot on eBay. You see that pretty little thing there, guys? Look at that. If you can come across, come on, focus. Um, it is an antique and yeah, I'm not sure exactly what they mean by antique. It could be vintage. Chinese Haitian Jade and 925 Silver, Sterling Silver Hair Pin, Hair Class Comb Gift, uh, whatever. $66 is what it sold for um, with free shipping from China, of course. 
so it'll take a very long time for you to get to you. This button here, I could not find one exactly like it. All I kept coming up with uniform, 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 uniforms, uniforms. And then I found some that said they were Boy Scout C buttons, meaning they had the anchor on the bottom underneath where it says prepared. Um, and they sold for fairly good price considering they are just one single button, but I could not find any buttons, single buttons like this. There was a lot of different size Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, and Cub Scout buttons that sold, I believe, for $10. Okay, so as for, like, this button here, it has kind of like a, a shield on it. Let me make sure I'm holding it the right way. Um, it would have been off from like a uniform or a lady's dress coat or a gentleman's, um, like a dress shirt or something kind of deal. Not necessarily off dress coat because it's kind of small, but as you can see, um, if you have even a group, um, depending on the day and the type that you have, um, because buttons ship very inexpensively. Here is a large, just vintage metal buttons, garment shield, mixed lot, anchor, crest, crown, um, the whole nine yards. I don't know how many's in that set, but if you just have a bunch of mixed match buttons, they sold for $33. That is a really good deal. Um, just for a bunch of mixed match buttons, um, Another button that you might want to look for is these pin back buttons. You see these right here, guys? One button, and it sold, well, he took an offer. Um, I don't know if I would have taken an offer, but, you know, depending. Do you see how the shank of the pin hangs down below the button? That would have dated it. Definitely pre-1940s, 48, I think. Well, before 1950, because they would have uh, not gone below it because they said that, hey, that is, um, I believe it's in the 1950s, they said that that was a problem because people are poking themselves and the, the shank to the pin had to stay up inside of the button. So that's a little tidbit for you um, when you're looking for vintage pins if they stick beyond the pin that predates it early like in the 40s definitely um so like pin the buttons like whoops sorry this one here um get a bunch of them together uh put them in a ziploc baggie and start bagging them up um and so that's what you want to do with those now let's check out these bake light. I am just going to scroll eBay because they do not let you screenshot anymore. Guys, don't ever pass up vintage bake light buttons. I have many here and I have many that are my friends. Look at these buttons, guys. Especially if you can get bake light animals. Um that sold very cheaply. They should have gone a little more. You see this one button sold for $2.52 plus $4 shipping, okay? So that did not have free shipping on it. Here we have a whole, what do they call it? Um, this is everything. Vintage buttons, metal, bakelite, uh, al abalone, glass, celluloid, wood, and plastic. Um, they only sold it for $39, and that was just put up there for sale for that price. They, they did not let people bid on it. If they had let people bid on that lot, they probably would have gotten a little more. Um, this horseshoe button, where did it go? Right there. Sold for $26 plus shipping. Here we have a whole bucket of buttons that sold for, a tin, the tin and all sold for $45. Um, i am going to filter this to highest to lowest. Um, actually, I probably should have sort. 
um, highest first. I want to show you what buttons can go for. Now remember, I'm searching in Bakelite, guys. This is just the Bakelite, any listing with Bakelite in it. This is 50 vintage pairs of Bakelite buttons, 100 total buttons, sold for $291. This is well worth your time to pick up Bakelite button pairs anywhere you can get them or go through your buttons and pair them up. And set them aside till you have a bunch of them put them on a card so you can keep track of them and sell them here is another listing um, and that had shipping with it this one took best offers sixteen dollars and thirty cents shipping on top of it and they have them in bags they're not even sorted here this one was two hundred and sixty dollars plus shipping um, and it was Bakelite, etc., carded button lock collection. And um, it just goes on, $200, 188 um, Now, cigarette pack, I have not seen these in years. These are just, there's what, four of these? They look realistic. They are buttons. Um, $177. If you guys, if you ever see them, that would be wonderful. Um, and it just goes on and on. One button, very large carved bake light with a jack in the pulpit, $139 for one button. And it had free shipping. So, um, here we have a 40 plus Bakelite, they took the best offer, so we won't know exactly what they got for it. Um, here we have never used red Bakelite dog buttons that have glass eyes, sold for $127. Um, here we have a rare Bakelite bird, Thimble. Guys, remember I said I'm looking for thimbles? Keep your eyes open for even the oddest looking things. This little guy is a thimble. Now, if I had seen him someplace, I would never have guessed he was a thimble. Okay. So, buttons are probably the quickest thing everybody throws away. Here is a butterfly button. Sold for $104. And these all sold, like, in February. So, within the last month. Here we have some fruit buttons that sold for $100. And this is just the Bakelite listing. This is it, all of the buttons. Um, I was hoping to find buttons like what I have in front of me. This one is gorgeous. This is a large art novel Bakelite metal with blue glass. Look at how pretty that is, $78. So don't ever pass up buttons. I have some fake light here in front of me. This is actually a belt buckle. We're gonna look that up. This is bake light, this one's plastic. Um, this is bake light, it has got uh, this coloration. Um, again, got some plastic here. I'm going to look this up next. Hold on with me in a second. Okay, here's another listing. Um, my exact belt buckle is not on here. Um, it does have some damage, so it probably wouldn't sell very good. But I do have some of these other belt buckles in that jar. Um, they're not actually belt buckles. They are for scarves, and they have them listed as belt buckles. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, however they listed them. I wanted to show you some of these because you may run across some of this. Like this, it, this is Bakelite, and it is actually a lady's belt. Um, they would put it around their waist and hook it, and it is just kind of like, um, you know, one size fits most kind of thing. Um, but the little pieces between are Bakelite. 
$98. And it will be in your granny's, great granny's stuff. Uh, a lot of millennials were shopping yesterday, picking up vintage items and going through the, the teas, looking for vintage teas. They knew what they were looking for. Um, I actually have a Bakelite bracelet I need to get out. And I'll see if I can show you that in another video. Um, because I will be doing more videos on vintage items that you need to be looking for because I am about to unload some of my stuff. I'm going to show you some more stuff in a second. Okay, vintage buttons like this. I have this one here. My friend has a ton, 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 ton of vintage buttons with the glass centers, all kinds of them. I also check the the plastic one with the one white little bitty one in the middle they're actually in this listing also this button is actually in one of these listings here too um don't pass them up even if you only have one of a kind put them in a lot baggy them up put them in a lot as you can see you can sell mixed buttons in a lot i have many of these little ones here um, I have some of these. They're not mine per se. Oh, let me get back out of there. Sorry, guys. Um, I touched the screen too hard. As you can see, these glass buttons with the, um, that are, you know, even if they're plastic with the glass outside, I have some of these. Um, a lot of them sold for $14. Um, check your buttons for the word Czech on it. Now, there's a difference between Czechoslovakia and the Czech Republic um, or Czech. It, it depends on what the wording is on them. Also, if you see these glass buttons that look like this and some of them that say Czech that are very decorative. Let me get my phone where you can see it better. Oh, I wish eBay had stopped where you couldn't uh, screenshot the pictures. But um, these decorative glass buttons that are very pretty, that look like they could be jewelry, um, can be very, very valuable. Um, this listing here, I have many of these buttons. They're not mine but I have many of them. Um, these here are beautiful. These here, I have, I believe, a set of eight. That is selling for just $4.44 for one, plus shipping. These buttons here, I have several of these different designs. And then here we have one like this. That's pretty with the red in the middle. I'm not gonna go through every page, but you get the picture. Even if you can only find one, that doesn't matter if you only have one of a kind, make a lot of them. Now, I'm gonna check out this kind of a button and see if there's anything, and then I'm gonna check out this little metal turtle pin. And I'll be right back with you. Now, I also wanna let you know that the shank of the button also matters. This button, I don't know if you can see that, that shank is metal. So when you're looking to put in your description, make sure that you let people know that the shank is metal. If the shank is bent a little bit, don't try to straighten it. Leave it and let the buyer straighten it because you don't want to break the shank. Um, I could not find the exact button I did find one that is a flower shape with a metal design in the middle that sold for uh, five bucks for just one button. But there are so many, and I did have one of these, um, but the inside is all broken, so it doesn't count. Um, there are so many different listings for different types of metal shaped Bakelite buttons, guys. Um, there's one there that has got a, um, is it a doggy? It's got a little dog in it. Um, it is so cute. It's Bakelite. It has a little dog. I'm sure if you had more than one of these, you would get more money. Um, again, once you put in that they are metal shank buttons, 
you're going to see more listings. Again, here is the buttons like I just had that have the glass in the middle. So now I'm going to check out for the other one. Okay, right on the very top is exactly what we have here. Um, they were selling them in sets of four for $17. I have two of each letter except for the letter Y. The letter I has one that has some damage, so um, I will probably put them all right on eBay, maybe um, if my friend wants to list them for me, or I will just uh, put them out on something and sell them that way um, just to sell them. I'm going to check out a couple more things because I don't want to make this video real long. I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, the last two pieces I looked up was the Parcheesi game piece. I could not find just a single one and this one's pretty much missing all the color. So I did not find anything like it. And this little horse pendant. Um, I found many of these. Now, if I could have found the nice one that uh, the horse was leaping through, they sell for like 60 bucks. That would have been a nice find. This one is um, two-sided. It does have a seam. But um, nonetheless, they have some of these on there selling from anywhere from 5 to $10. So not bad. A little find. I'll probably just put it on some jewelry and make jewelry with it so um there you have it guys that is what i found um some of the stuff i'll just put in baggies and add to it as i go and eventually sell it as a bulk lot thanks for watching guys bye